All right, let's talk about what I just did. This frame is not straight, and that doesn't surprise me at all because none of these early car, well, in this era had a straight frame, and that was actually by design. You know, they were, back in those days, you looked at the line that the frame made. So the frame needed to make an attractive line. And these frames, or a 32 Ford frame, uh, any Ford between after a Model A and, and up through 48 is going to have a frame that has this shape. It kind of rises in the front and then it kind of goes down, rises in the front where the axle goes under and then it kind of goes down a little under the passenger compartment and then it comes up with a big hump on the back where the rear end sits. So that means the frame isn't straight. To reinforce this frame, if I put a straight bar on here, this front end is going to be sticking up. Bye. Oh, how much is that right there? That's um, 3 sixteenths. So now, back here on the back side, this. is all the way down. And that's all the way down. And this is all the way down. And what I'll do is I'll nip off this little bit right in here, and then I'll weld this. Um, this frame, this part of the frame down here was hanging down below the car frame. And I was looking at it thinking of cutting that off, but that was still gonna leave this piece sticking up in the air. So by cutting this, and nipping this down and re-welding this, I'm going to make a, a, a brace or a reinforcement for my frame that's going to match the original line of the frame. And that matters. That's important because you know if you don't do that, it's just not going to look good. It's just going to look weird. Uh, it's not going to look like somebody put a piece of pipe, a piece of steel up on there without much thought and just weld it in place. And, and the point is, this because this is very visible here. People look at this. So I need to make it as pretty as I can and still give it the strength I need to give it. Uh, the, the other thing I need to do is I need to, I want to brace this to a piece that comes down here, but I'd also like to add a little extra strength all the way back to where this front end mount is. So I'm going to have to make a piece here that has a little bit of an odd shape because there's a bolt that goes through down here but that comes down far enough to tie this into the rest of this metal to get my strength out of that. That's what I'm looking at. So, what I might do is just, while this metal is sitting just right, I might just go up and nip off this little extra lip here, and I'll have that ready to weld. When I get ready to do my welding, I should bolt it, some of me thinks I should weld it. And a big piece of me just thinks I hadn't decided yet. But we will eventually figure it out. We will know what we're going to do before we do it, I think. At least what we're doing. What I'm going to do is just uh, take this, stick it in here, and just take my little grinder. Grind off a little section up there.
like it. I like the way it fits. I may just set it right back up here and put a quick weld on it. Nice. Ah, glad I didn't get a toe that time. makes a good place to start. I think I'm going to knock off now. Come back tomorrow. Um, I, I had made a piece out of 3 steel that covered one of the bolts down there, but I wasn't necessarily happy with it. So I'm going to remake that piece and make it join up with this piece. And it's going to sit right here. And then I'm going to cut into it what I need to get this bolt and to tie this in. I may I may wind up welding a, a bolt onto this that goes through this. And I can, that way I can put this whole thing on there and bolt it. That way I can remove it without having to weld the frame or, or anything like that. So 
Anyway, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. I think it's getting kind of late. It's about time for me to go in. Call it a day to see what Honey Babe's up to. So, I'll, I'll talk to y'all some more. Have a, have a day or two tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I reckon. Alrighty then. Appreciate you. Say hi to your mom and them. We'll catch you next time.